up, you guys? It's your girl, Brie, and I'm back once again with another video. So right now, I can't even tell whether you guys can see me or not. But if you can, then that's cool. Um, okay, so basically, um, I'm about to be calling... Let me just see if you guys can see me. I don't know, so do not feel like y'all can see me. Okay, yeah, I feel like y'all can see me now. Um, so basically, this is like my back to school video, um, advice, tips, whatever. So basically, at first, I'm going to show you my binder, like how neatly prefer like prepared I am. Um, sorry. So it's like a binder like this, like that. And basically, whenever you open the inside, it already has paper in it. It's like this, and it has paper in it. And then basically after the paper, the dividers, and then after the dividers, I have graph paper. So this is going to be my math binder most likely. Or just like a science binder because we use graph paper in science too to like mark down the charts and stuff. Because I'm in physical science. So you have like, it's like weird. It's like you can basically draw using graph paper if you like think about it. So yeah, that's it. Um, let me show you my... Okay, so basically, that is my um, early childhood education one thing, binder cover, English three, English three, and this one is the most well done one, I, I love this one, it's phys physics science, or whatever, physical science, and basically I'm just super excited, like, you know, I'm just super excited to be going into my 11th slash 12th grade year because I am graduating this year if I have enough credit at the end, but I will not know until I take my AOCs. And it also depends on my ACT score and SAT score, whether it's good enough to get into college. Because once you become a junior, you take the SAT and ACT, one or the other, and that determines whether you get into college. So if you get into college in your junior year, then basically you, can, you don't have to do your senior year. You basically graduate early. You do all your senior classes and junior classes in one year. So basically, that's what I'm going to try to do. Um, but it all depends on my scores at the end of the year. So now, I'm about to call somebody. Um, I don't really know who I'm going to call. I'm gonna come off her from Florida. Yeah, it's not answering or whatever, so I don't know. Okay, so basically, I'm about to just tell you my school year or whatever. So basically, this year, I'm going to be, I already told you what grade I'm going to be in, but I won't get out of school until about 4 o'clock, 3.45-ish, 4 o'clock. I won't get home until about 4.30 every single day, like I did on Thursdays. I usually got home at 4.30 on Thursdays. Plus, my bus driver don't know the route because we have a new bus driver this year. So basically, we're the only ones with the new bus driver this year. Because, like, a lot of bus drivers quit last year, but then they found new bus drivers that was going to work, too. But I hope I get my old bus driver that first started whenever I was a freshman. And I'm a junior, so, like, two years ago, um, we had this, like, cool bus driver. And I just really hope we get him. 
Because he knows the route, frontwards and backwards. I mean, yeah, he might need help at, like, the beginning of the year just to know where to go. Like, on the first day, maybe. But after that, he got it. Which, I don't mind helping out, like, on the first day of school. Like, telling everybody's route or whatever, how to get home. And then him dropping off last. But the thing is, is that I don't want to be, like, sitting there telling him every single day. The bus driver every single day of the year. And me just be bored on the bus. Because all I have to do is make sure that we're get going to the right place. Which sucks. Because it just sucks. So yeah, I don't really know who to call other than somebody else. But basically, um, for freshman and sophomore classes, you basically are on your own the entire year. Basically, since the first week of school, like the first week of school, they'll help you out. But after that, you're basically on your own. So you have the responsibility of getting in class on time, going to the bathroom, and being responsible about it. Like, don't skip class at all because most likely you are going to get caught. If you don't get caught, most likely somebody will snitch on you, so you're going to get caught either way. Um, so basically, yeah, that's basically it. Um, so, yeah, um. I will actually be doing a back to school haul for all of my classes or whatever and I will actually vlog on the first day of school just to show you guys like the real life of high school students but see I'm a junior this year so most likely I'm not going to get in trouble for having a camera at school but most likely I will be using my phone because every single day last year I took my camera to school and they didn't even care like I literally had it out in class like vlogging with students and stuff and they didn't even care so I mean my high school is like very lenient and basically that's just going to be it for this video um for junior and senior classes um basically they're going to be leaving the same as that way as freshman and sophomore except for they give you like a leeway like you can leave off campus whenever you're a senior you can leave off campus so basically since i'm a junior slash senior i get all the privileges of a senior so basically i'm only 16 i get to walk off campus i get to go to mcdonald's across the street i get to go to the gas station down the road you know i get to go to a lot of places and I'll be going to a daycare, which I won't be vlogging that because it's just, like, weird to vlog with other kids around, like, with little toddlers can't even talk, much less walk. Like, you have to basically change your diapers, um, give them a bath. So you basically a daycare worker for the entire day, um, four times a week. So, yeah, guys, um, that's my classes. Um, if you like this video, please leave a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. I'll leave you on my race, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace. Booyah!